Alrighty, hello, hello. Um, today I'm going to be discussing if you are interested in getting into the basics of WoW or trying to learn more about WoW and have no idea where to start. I understand that the game can be not the best equipped to helping new players get into the game, so I just wanted to discuss a few things. Um, Right now I'm at the character selection screen, but I'm just going to hang out here for a minute and we'll get back to this. Um, so, the first thing that is kind of um, confusing, I think, to most people, I had trouble with this myself uh, a few years back, is that, well, this is the game, but how do you get to the game? And the answer is simple. The best way to go about doing this is to go into Google and simply googling battle.net space download. You'll come there, it'll bring you to the, the link on the top, and from there you just, um, you'll have some options that'll say, like, the top one will be World of Warcraft Game Installer, you'll have options for Windows or Mac, you'll just let that download, and you'll go from there. Um, I don't think you have to create an account at this time, even though I would go ahead and do that since you are already at the web page. While that's downloading, make an account, fill it in with information. Um, as far as your battle.net tag, which is also your like VNet, your real ID, that can be changed. Mine used to be like completely different. Now it's Mapex hashtags and numbers. And I changed it. You can change it one time for free. They just generate you one by itself. I can make a guide on how to do that later on. Um, so back to this character selection screen. So the biggest thing that you'll see is that there's 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 a bunch of things. Um, the main thing I would cover is the realm. So I had a friend that got me into the game, and when we first started this process I had made a character on the wrong realm and of course I didn't understand any of that it was, it was hard and it could be frustrating and it could turn you away from the game that's why we're kind of going these, through this whole process so the biggest thing that I would take note here is at the top right hand of the screen I play on this ran the realm storm range um, it is one of the bigger realms in the North American realms, I guess. So it's one of the bigger servers in the North American realms. So um, I prefer Storm Rage myself. It's where I play. I have played on. I started playing on Hydraxis. I moved to Ice Crown for Horde, and they came back to Alliance, and I'm on Storm Rage now. And that's that's my thing. Um, so if you wanted to play on a different realm, you would just click Change Realm at the top right. And they have a lot of different things here. Um, now, there's two factions, so there's Horde and Alliance, and some of these realms or servers are going to be more predominantly populated by one or the other. Sometimes you'll have a, a mix, but a lot of the times, like Storm Rage, dominated by Alliance. And then there's another thing that gets into, like, population. So you can see here's Hydraxis. This is where I came from. It is a low population realm, right? Ice Crown, low population realm. Storm Rage is technically full. That's not a... I wouldn't worry about that, to be honest. There's been some instances where you have queue times into the realms, but don't let this discourage you or your friends or, you know, you trying to play with certain groups of people because it says full. That is, that is not a big deal, I promise you. Uh, we had queue times because there was issues with the game. And they were fixed. And so we don't have those issues right now. So, um, I, like, like I said, I prefer Storm Rage. Um, so you'll notice there's different types of realms. So you have a normal realm, PvP realm, RP realm. You should have an RP PvP realm or something like that. Where's that? Back to the top here. Yeah, RP PvP. There we go. So, um, RP, of course, stands for Moonguard. 
Um, PvP server means that at any point outside of like a starting zone or a major city, um, you can be uh, attacked by the enemy faction. So if you're on alliance and you're doing some quests, you know, out somewhere, someone can come kill you, essentially. Can be a lot of fun at um, max levels. So RP PvP, just some roleplay and some PvP. Um, let's see here. So you have uh, pure PvP realms, we just discussed that. And then there are uh, normal. So normal realms are just, you can't attack people outside of like, world PvP areas, I guess, which it will obviously warn you, and there's only a couple of them, it's not a big deal. Um, so, I play on normal realms. Um, I think all of this is actually getting changed in Battle for Azeroth. So, um, let's see here. Um, if I wanted to play on, like, let's, let's find a realm here. Let's find a realm. How about Lightbringer? If I wanted to play on Lightbringer... Wait, where's Area? Let's play Area 52, actually. Let's do that. Alright. We're gonna pick Area 52. That's just what I wanted to do. So, uh... Monothish Star. I'm just gonna ignore him. Alright, so... You create new character, and this is where it comes to take you. The first couple of things that you're going to have to take note to are, do you want to play Horde, do you want to play Alliance? So we go to no more info here, this is a Night Elf. They have racial abilities. Which may fade into the shadows, so that would be their ability there. It's called Shadow Meld. They don't actually list it, list it right there. But, um, so, yeah, if you wanted to play Night Elf Druid, or, excuse me, just a Night Elf in general, um, they do have racials. So each, each different one, you know, may take on a stone form. So they have a defensive one. Humans, increased mastery, critical strike, um, haste, and versatility. Yeah, you know, this and that. I would just go off of what you would like. Um, I like Void Elves a lot, so I play a Void Elf. Their racials are pretty good. Just happens to be that way. Trolls. Berserker. Very strong for, um, a lot of classes. Gives you a 15% increased haste buff for, like, 10 seconds. That's a huge deal when you start stacking it. Other abilities and whatnot. So, um, yeah. So, let's see here. Um, yeah, why don't we just do Troll? Because, reasons. Uh, you can pick male, female. Okay, so you can pick male or female. And whatever you want to do there. Uh, the next the next biggest thing that will take a, a lot of people a lot of time to, um, to think about would be what class. What class do I want to play? What are what are the classes like? How do they play? How do they feel? Which ones are are good? Um, so as you see there, Death Knights start at a higher level. And it's be a Blood Elf to be a Demon Hunter. I've never made a Blood Elf Demon Hunter before. Anyways, um, so I main a Fury Warrior yeah, for the time being. And, oops. So, I'm going to go with a warrior for this, um, and so once you figure out what um, what class you want to play, you know, what race you want to play as, what faction you want to play as, you can, you can kind of get into the customization of your class. Um, I would always recommend starting at level 1. When you buy the game, it's going to give you... Boosts to like maybe 90, 100, 110. I personally would think it would be better if you don't use those right away. One, 
you don't really know what you're going to boost. So starting at level 100 or 110 or whatever you're going to start at that boost level, you skip so much of the content of the game that is designed to let you go out and see the world, experience, you know, World of Warcraft, essentially, versus starting at the end game and missing out like oh well how do i how do i use my chat how do i how do i join a guild how do i make a guild if you wanted to do that all of these things that you would absolutely be missing out on the the learning curve the learning experience whatever you want to call it um i'm making these videos because i don't feel like that is even good enough to help people so I most certainly strongly believe that if you're a brand new player to the game, that you should not be using these boosts until later on. You get a better understanding of how things work, so what classes you want to play. And if you wanted to try something, you could level it up a little bit and then boost it if you wanted to do so, or going from there, or here, and etc. So we're going to make this warrior. We're going to customize it now. All right. Everything here is fairly self-explanatory you got these beautiful females with all that leather that she's wearing like some weird snake looking shin guards and my god these toes these toes are the best they even got a toe in the back all right so Wow, that's, I didn't even ever realize they had toes in the back. But, okay, so anyways, uh, we're going to make a dude. Um, make whatever you want. Doesn't matter. People don't care. Guys make girls, girls make guys. It's, it's, it's whatever. So I'm actually kind of fine with that skin color. Um, they do have lots to choose from. Kind of makes me look like, like I'm sick if you go that skin color. It can just be like straight green. And by green, I mean like... Teal. We're gonna go with the bluish color. Oh, that one right there. All right, let's go to face face stuff now. Um, and the sideburn. His sideburn game is just like on point here. Like, goodness, goodness. Uh, we'll just we'll just go with that one. Yeah, sure. All right, so hairstyle. We get some crazy looking hair here. Could have the the bowl cut and grow it out. Mohawk. That. You like having a rope on your head? A slightly bigger rope with some, some dangling in the front. Or you could just be bald. So, uh, Blizzard. We need more troll hair. Styles. Yeah, we're going with Mohawk. But we want it red. Do they have red? They've got red. And purple. Yeah, we're going straight red. Kind of reminds me of, um, Vulgen. Vulgen has the, uh, stuff like that. Yeah, we're getting, getting some tusks, man. No, what? His tusk exploded in his face. They're like tattoos and tusks now. Straight looks like somebody hit him in the face with an egg. Can't lie, you're just going through here like, oh, I'm just looking at tusks flat. Like. Ah, I think we'll just go with these. Not too big, not too little. Let's see if my name's not taken here. Actually, my warrior name is a little different. Boom! Zentic the Warrior, level 1. Troll. Alright, so, okay, so coming from here, I have two options, so... First of all, Torin that could be monks. Makes no sense. Stealthy, ninja-like creature that's a cow at the same time. And bro, what happened to your horn? Come on, man. And why don't you have more than three fingers? Yeah, you're super stealthy, but have three fingers and big hooks. Alright, so... I'm obviously going to get on the warrior. Um, to get into the, the thing here, you can either double-click, or you can hit enter. 
just going to hit enter. Um, so there's a couple other things that I guess we could talk about while we're here. Um, you can just click and drag. You don't have to hit the buttons. So this, you can restore deleted character. So if I were to, let's see here. We don't like this monk, right? It's a typed out. Blizzard likes their type outs. That feels bad. Maybe it's because it's level 1. I don't know what the uh, the specifications are to do that. So uh, I'd have to make a new level 1. Buddy, he's my friend. He's gone forever. Alright, so um, you can hit back, delete character. Alright, so hitting the back button just logs you out from here. Um, nothing special. As you can see, you get a nice uh, troll-oriented background here with some like... That kind of has like a shaman look to me right there. But anyways, you press enter, go in the game, it loads. Boom. So each race gets its own, um, I guess, like starting zone cinematic. So we're going to watch that here in a second. Exiled years ago from their lands in Stranglethorn Vale, the Dark Spear Trolls attempted to make a new life for themselves amongst the disparate races of the Horde. Under the leadership of the noble war chief Thrall, Vul'jin and his savage trolls. It has been a super long time since I have played a troll. Actually, a troll was like. I think the second character I made was a troll. Maybe a shaman? Oh, I made it Shaman, but I think the second character I made was a Death Knight when I could. So it locks at level 55. But a Shaman was what I had um, started as. Alright, so after the cinematic, this is kind of what we've got going on here. For the most part. Um, so... I guess the first things that you're going to notice are, like, I'm looking down at my, my bar here. Um, you've got this guy with an exclamation point over his head. You've got some little crabs around you. You've got this guy playing this drum, and he never he's never going to stop playing this drum. He is our one drum guy. There's another level one player right there. He's just kind of sitting down chilling. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this quest. So you just you left click. Brings up these menus. So, the Rise of the Dark Spear, that's actually the name of the quest. Go up here to the right side underneath your mini map. There's your quest, li your quest log right there. You can minimize it. You can click on them. Right click to get pop open some options here. So, they don't do a half bad job there. Telling you that, hey, you're looking for your trainer. He's going to be somewhere around here. So it's not, it's not too bad, I guess. Um, let's see here. Alright, so... Got our quest log here. Um, you can get there by clicking on a quest. Or the default button is L for quests. Which... I have key bounce set up, key findings, so that's why that happened. Oops. Um, so I guess a real quick thing to do is you can go into the in-game menu by hitting escape. Or there's this question mark. These are like your menu options down here. So you can hit the one that says game menu. So we're going to left click there. All right, and we're going to go to key bindings. So... I've already got uh, some key bindings set up, obviously. Um, so what you're seeing here is going to be a little bit different. Cut that later on. Um, so the biggest things that we're going to notice are the interface panel. So this says for the character pane. You want to pull up your character pane, all you have to do is hit C. For me, it's Control C, because like I said, I've already got key bindings set up and these buttons got in the way, so I found a way to just hotkey you hold the control button, you just press whatever button you would normally press to open this up. So it's very simple. And I like how it says Arms Warrior. Why, does, why do I have to be an Arms Warrior? Oh, um, that's the character pane. Like that, right there. We'll, we'll 
we'll come back to that, I'm sure. Um, so back to key bindings. So you want to open all your bags. It's B. You want to open your character pane. It's C. Spell book P. Profession book K. Your pet spell book, which I guess if you're a hunter, you'll need that. Is uh, I don't know if it's actually I. No, it wouldn't be I normally because I would be for instances. Okay, so talent pane in. I don't use the statistics. I don't use the the pet spell book ever. Channel pull out. Oh, um, so that's like your friends list. We'll I'll show you that. We'll go through all this. Group finder. I. P P H. Collection tabs. P. And it just so. My point is here is that you don't have to remember everything. You could come here. You know, write down on a piece of paper, grab your pen, paper, whatever, and just, like, jot down some notes to kind of get, you know, used to starting to use these interfaces. You know, this 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 UI, user interface, so, like, how the game and whatnot is actually going to work button-wise. They don't do a great job at explaining this, and this is where you can find all of those right there. So... You've also got uh, movement keys would probably be the only other one I'd worry about right now. So interface panel to kind of use the ins and outs of the game. So if you need to pull up your character pane or you want to queue for an instance or this or that, which some of these things are turned off. Like right now I cannot just queue for a dungeon. I can't. See, I'm pressing the button. It's not working. I can pull up the friends pane there. Can't do it instance, PvP. I can't pull up talents. Oops. That's guild finder. So I'm not in the guild. I can pull up that one right there, which is the spell book, but you're kinda limited to what you can do until you get a few levels under your belt. So from here. Um Okay, so we'll just cover. I'm not. I don't want to cover all these panels. So I don't want to take too much time doing that right now. But the friends list. We will cover this because a lot of people get into the game because they start playing with friends, right? Um. So what's going to happen here is O is the default button, right there. All right. So there's your friends pane. If you need to know what your battle.net tag is, your actual name. It'll have your name, the number sign, and then some numbers. So if you ever need to add somebody to Battle.net, what you're going to do is you're going to hit Add Friend. You can enter their email, battle tag. Um, you can do a character name. So if you wanted to add, like, me, Zintic, you would just type in Zintic. If it's on the same server, it'll work that way. Uh, but yes, you cannot put yourself on your own friends list. That is that is absolutely correct. <laughs> so um, if you have an incoming or like a pending friend request, it'll be right here at the top where it says friends, you know, quick join, ignore, um, etc. It'll be right there. You can just hit accept, decline, whatever you want to do. You can send out. You can send out a message. And I don't really know what to say, so I'm just gonna not worry about it right now. Recruit a friend is a big one. I probably should have mentioned this earlier. So recruit a friend gives you little bonuses for playing with a friend. The way it's it's called RAF, R A F, recruit a friend. So I'm not sure what the bonuses are now because they have changed since recently, and I haven't done it for a long time, so. It's gonna be with you. I don't know. And we have a new friend. This is Pixie. She's a uh, level one troll druid player. She's horde, of course. We're just, we're just not gonna worry about that. But yes, so you can. This is where you would do your friend stuff. Recruit a friend. Someone can send you the recruiter friend. So you would you would end up getting stuff in your email 
that would help you set up the game, I do believe. Email, email address, you can write a note. They will be directed to join Horde on Area 52. So when you come into that realm screen, like that character selection pane, it should already be Area 52 and be directing you to the Horde side. So instead of popping up with a Night Elf Druid, or wow, I always say that. Instead of popping up with a Night Elf, it'll be something on the Horde side most likely. Like probably an Orc at the top of the list, I do believe. So. Um, but yeah, you have the list of benefits here. You can level faster, grant grantable levels, summon your friend, 30 days, free game time, in-game mount. Click here for more details on how it works. So, the grantable levels also would be to the person who sets this up. So if I set this up and I send you the recruit a friend or the wrath thing, I recruited you. Therefore, I benefit on the level granting. For every two levels that you gain, you can boost my character of choosing by one level as long as they are not a higher level than the character you are boosting with. Which I think you can only do the one you recruit a friend with, but you'll most likely only have one character because you into the game, kind of focusing on one thing kind of deal. I don't know. Maybe you play things differently than I do. That's just how a lot of people that I've seen do it. But anyways, um, moving on, um, let's see here. So on the bottom, we have a couple of buttons here. One says attack, and that's in our number one position. One says slam. This is our um, racial, excuse me. So, uh... I'm going to put slam here, because I already know what it does. This is an auto attack. Starts cam combat. Wow, starts combat. Starts combat by attacking a target minimum. I'm just going to straight take that off my bar. It is completely useless and not needed. Um, you can use that if you wanted to come through here. Find your auto attack. You can place it back. That's what that is. Auto attack. So... Top right, you have the mini map. So this is your location. You have a calendar has events. You can click on it right there. Um, if you wanted to, and also oh, mouse and over that does tell you your keybind. So for me, it's Control M. See. So we're going to talk more about the map in a minute. So I know that we're going to be able to do that with a little bit more in depthness at your time. Realm time is not always the same as your local time, so keep that in mind. You might play on a server that is on the the west side, you know, that's based out of California or something, but you live on the east coast, so server time would be like 9 a.m. instead of noon or something. You can zoom in and out, search for things. Okay, so this button here, I like this button. I'm going to track one thing right now. That's mailboxes. If you do not have a Tundra Mammoth mount that has a blacksmith on it that you can repair your gear with, go ahead and hit that back. Because I don't have one yet. I can't. You can't ride mounts until level 20. And you can't fly until level 60, so... Might as well hit that repair bot symbol right there while we can. You can track flight masters, you know, target, focus target. So if I were to, let's see here, if I were to set, I set focus to this. Yep. And there, there it is, right there on the map. That dot right there. No matter where I go, it's right there. As soon as I get focus, watch that dot. Gone. Boom. How hard to slam it? Oh, wow. It's hard. Okay, so, what I have to talk about. I click this. Now I'm not auto attacking. Right? That's how you turn on and off your auto attack, because you might want to be trying to kill something without killing it and just sitting there. You can either turn your back to it or you can turn your auto attack off. 
You can sheathe your weapon, do all kinds of stuff. So, our job is to um, meet with Nortet in Darkspear Training Grounds. Let's go find him. You look, there's the question mark. That's where we're going. That is our destination for the quest we have chosen. It's one of the quests we have also, so. We got my warrior bro over here. What's up, guys? Alright, so. Gives me experience, a little bit of copper, and a little bit of a description of the quest here. So, um, should probably talk about <laughs> movement keys. We didn't talk about movement keys, that is my apology. So, um, one second on that. So, again, this is just a description of him talking to you. If you like lore or you want to learn more about, I suggest reading these. Um, it kind of makes it more immersive. Although, doing it a bunch of times when you have a bunch of characters, it's kind of it's kind of old and you just kind of want to go kill things, so you go destroy six tiki targets. Here's what we have to do. So we're going to accept that. 200, they give you some experience, whatever, a little, bit, a little bit of copper, which is like useless, and some movement. Again, um, pulling up the keybinds. Movement keys, check it out. Alright, so, yes, you, you have strafed right, strafed left. Alright, I'll show you what those do in a second. You have turn left, turn right. You can move straight, backwards, jump, sit down, sheath weapon, toggle auto run. Auto run is very, very nice. Try to just do the toggle. Find a key, so mine would be the number pad there. I just go and I click that button. Click that button. Don't even have to start. I mean, it just runs on its own. I can use the mouse to right-click and steer. If you left-click, it just moves your camera around. So we're going to right-click and steer. Kind of goes do a circle around the cactus. Circle around the cactus. All right, so if you press both at the same time. So let's go back to auto-running. So I'm steering with my middle finger on the, the right mouse button. If I hold down the left button, so now I'm going to press the left button. And so now I'm holding both. I'm still moving. It has canceled my auto run. So if I let go of my left finger, there we go. Press it. So you press both down. You can move with the scroll wheel. Um, my scroll wheel doesn't work, so I don't use that to move. I use the auto run. These are my tiki targets I'm supposed to kill. So, strafing. Alright, so... When you come into the game, your keybinds are set as following. W-A-S-D. You've probably heard that before, if you've done any kind of PC gaming. What that means is W moves you forwards. S moves you backwards. The A turns. It's just a turn, it's not going to physically move you, you're just pivoting. Alright, so if you hit W, your middle finger... There's A, D, D, A, D. Alright, so let's just keep this called keyboard turning as well. So I can use my mouse to turn much sharper. So most of the, most of the keys that you hear me press like this, that's me moving. I have all almost all of my abilities that are combat related. Keep out onto my mouse. <clears throat> so we're just gonna auto attack things while we talk. So um, so like I said, um, WASD. Then you bring in Q and E. So Q is your strafe. It's like, so you run on a left to right plane going straight across what it does is it keeps you it's it's important because it like keeps you facing that way so like yeah we'll just skip that so with the strafing um, it's it's really important like I play a warrior or if you're 
I could do more mechanic guide videos, which I probably should. Um, but if you know, if there's something that is on the ground, I can strafe and move around my target. And I'm usually I'm holding down the right mouse button to turn while I strafe here. Otherwise, see, I can't turn as sharp. But like that, I can turn on a dime, like essentially. So, sorry, it's probably making some of y'all <laughs> feel rather nauseous. So, not gonna worry about that. Um, it is important to to get into strafing, but like, just take this uh, step by step. I know this is a ton of information. Like, I'm just trying to come through all the basics. You can go through this video, rewatch it, go to certain points in the video, rewind it as many times as you need. I think it is. Very important. Oh, that uses rage. Okay, so I can just keep doing that. Awesome. That is, I don't play arms, the Fury. So, you know. So, I have completed my quest. Sheath my weapon by sitting and jumping. And you do it really quickly. And, uh,. It just shows you jumping, but you know, that's how I do it. Because I don't have sheath keybound. Alright, so we're going to turn this quest in here. And it's going to probably level me up. You can see this bar, this purple bar, is your experience bar. So as you see there, it says 95 out of 900, which puts me at 11%. Okay, so normal 100% of experience gained from monsters. What that means is that you can it, your bar can turn blue, means you have rested bonus experience. Rested experience bonus, however you want to say that. You have you have a rested buff, which makes it so things give you more experience. So if you're gonna log out for the night, going to like an inn to like sleep or something or whatever, and to go into like a major city you will get a small amount of rest experience by the time you wake up, most likely. So, uh, we're going to accept this quest. What does it say? So, it's going to be... They, they've got cats killing boars. And they don't want to share their food. Boars are going to need to be alive if you want to be eating tonight. Kind of deal. So, uh... They're everywhere. Just bring them some, bring them some pelts. Kill six. Wild main cat belt. So this is where we want to start getting into our map. Alright. Alright, so now you notice that we have this big blue shape. I was going to say circle. That is obviously not a circle. Now, I obviously know my shapes. Alright. So, oh, you can zoom in. I'm sorry. You can zoom in here. <laughs> so, if you mouse over it, it tells you rough start. Zero out of six cat pelts, right? We just started this quest. Don't have any cat pelts yet. So, um, this is the area you're going to be able to search for these cats. Alright. I turned nameplates on. Okay, so watch these training dummies. Nameplates off. Nameplates on. Nameplates off. Nameplates on. Going back into our key bindings. Probably interface. Oop. I'm not sure. Miscellaneous? Hmm. Not target. Cameras. Miscellaneous. So it's control V for me, so it'd be V for you guys. If not control V. Huh. Well, um anyways, V or control V. I probably changed it at some point. So, if you're doing quests or you're looking for, like, I can see these way over here, but, like, I might have a hard time seeing how many there are, or 
what is over there. So now that I have this turned on, you see all these. Uh, yellow means friendly. Okay, so yellow is friendly. So it will not attack me unless I attack it. So like this boar. Let's go, let's go attack the boar. Actually, since I need a cat. So I can walk next to these cats. That's what that means. So it's friendly until attacked. And walk next to it. You're not going to hurt me, right? I can pet it. Hey, kitty, what's up? Pet the wild cat. If you right-click something, so that's left-clicking, pulls up the, um, the portrait form, right? So if you right-click, you auto-attack it. Alright. Alright, so we're going to get our help there. Um, I'm going to go into the interface. We have controls. I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to auto loot. So when I loot, it just automatically put everything in. Combat, display, social. They do have a mature language filter, so uh, if you don't feel like you want to be seeing some inappropriate things, this is the internet, however, so um, people do say some crazy things in chat. Um, don't let that discourage you. Just you know, remember you can turn this on or off. I just have mine off because doesn't bother me. Um, action bars. Um, if you are colorblind, they do have some colorblind settings here. Um, so you can change that up a bit. I know several people that I I play with that are colorblind. So, very interesting. And you say, go to the blue marker, and they're like, and you're like, oh, go to the square marker. Gotcha. So my auto attacks generate rage for me, which kind of sucks. So, automatically looted right there. Boom. Wish I had a ranged ability so I could pull them to me closer. So all I'm doing is going around killing cats, looting them. I've got three out of six now. Um, so, so let's let's see here. If I were to go outside of this little area, they might, or uh, you might be able to find some over there. It's not likely. Um, Blizzard does have a few areas in the game where it doesn't quite meet up. As you can see, general, why it shows what I'm looting. It will show everyone what they're looting. Let me just use this to generate some rage here. Come on, arms warrior. We need rage. Help me out here. I need some. I need some resource. So yes, um, this spec is what you would call a a builder spender. My rage is depleting. That's my resource. It's called rage. So I take that rage and I convert it into slam. It uses twenty rage. It has requirements of that. And etc. So I'm going to build up some more rage. So I can spend some rage. There's a lot of classes that do this. I'm ready to turn in. I'm just killing things for no reason. So here we are going back to our warrior trainer here. So we'll probably, I wouldn't doubt if this level me up or not. So we brought, brought you your pelts, you know. You can eat dinner. I'd like to eat dinner. Oh, I'm getting a new weapon. All right. He just straight up left me here. <laughs> He's like, I'm so glad you got to uh, do all of this. All right, so um, so proving pit. We're in the proving pit. This is our proving pit. Cool. What we got to do? Uh, we need to speak to a dark spear jailer. All right. And then I need to kill captive. Spite scale scout. Alright, so this guy has the bubble over his head, so I guess I need to talk to him. What you want? He is our Dark Spear Jailer, and not much of a big challenge. But, uh, gotta prove myself, right? Alright, cool. And I don't have a bunch of rage to dump into this, so. 
Super difficult. I just want to play as Fury. I love Fury. <laughs> You're making me do arms. Yeah. I can charge. Oh man. That's one of my non mouse keys. So I just got a new spell. Alright, so I've opened my spell book. It's P, letter P. Um, makes me cry seeing me as arms. Um, I got charge at level 3. I got a new ability. Look at that. So like it says, you can drag your spells from your action bar from here. Or to your action bar from here. Your active spells are sorted before passive spells. So what that means is uh, you can use these things. So if you have something that gives you a passive, you know, talk about that. Let's, can I, let's get rid of this. This is annoying. All right, so let's see here. Um, Mastery Colossus Smash. Increases the damage of your Colossal Smash by 12%. And causes it to increase damage you deal to a target by an additional 12%. So that's passive. So when I get to level 78 and I learn this, it's not going to be before charge. It's not going to be... Even, even if it was alphabetically before charge, you know, so slam comes after M for mastery, um, it would still be after. It's, it's, it's passive. So when I do one thing, it causes other things to happen in the background, but I don't have to worry about them too much because they've already... Oh, that generates rage. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, but I don't have the... Okay, so get a weapon. Can I be Fury now? I have two of them. Fury has two two-headed weapons. It is it's like my favorite spec in the game. So we're about to have to go over there now. To the uh, more expected. More than expected. I can't read. If you haven't noticed, I, I'm illiterate. So I'm going to open up my character paint. And so I've got this Warm Battle Axe level. But I've, if you look in chat, I have a Dark Spear Battle Axe that's level 2. Instead of doing 1 to 3 damage... It does, uh, 2 to 6. And that's something. But how do I, how do I equip it? Well, normally, you could just use your equipment manager, but it says you have to be level 15 to use that. So, I'm going to open my bag here. Alright, so this is what your backpack, your red pouch look like, which is all I have right now. And look, there's, there's that weapon I want. So, you can left click it, move it, if I want to move it over here, and I wanted to organize my stuff a little bit better, I could do that, however I wanted to do it. Um, and a lot of cat hair, apparently. Huh. Oh, you have gained four backpack slots from having an authenticator and SMS protect it, protect, and SMS protect attached to your account. There's a authenticator app you can download on your phone, and it protects your account. If someone tries to log into your account, they can they have the information, they can log in, right? But if you have the authenticator attached to your account, they can still have the information, but they can't press that button that says allow, or they can't do the manual input for it, where it's like, oh yeah, here you go. And it regenerates a number, like, every... Like 8 to 10 seconds, probably, because you didn't have time to put it in. It's a big number. Yeah, anyway, so. 5% crit. Okay. Um, oop. So, here we are. Got my, my weapon here. So, you can left-click it and move it, which means I could come over here and left-click again. And now I have this weapon equipped. And this one's over here. What if I... There's, a, there's an easier way to do that. You can right-click it. It automatically swaps it. Watch. There's the right-click. So now I'm wearing the one I was given originally. The level 1 War Battle Axe. And over here is the Dark Spear Battle Axe. 
I'm going to right click it again, and it switches. And now I have a better weapon. There you go. I hit escape to get out of all of that. I'm going to hit my auto run button. I charge because it, it it brings me further to my destination faster. It makes me feel good about myself. All right, so I'm going to how do I get over there? I'm already over here. All right, we're going in here. All right, look at that. Oh crap! It's Vulgen himself. We were just talking about this guy. Uh, he is cool looking. Why can't I have uh, rings around my tusks? Why does your hair look better than mine? Why can't I have a beard like you? And creepy face paint and sweet armor. Just gonna hit complete. And he wants to show me something. Don't talk back to me, troll. You know who was left in charge here. Garrosh. Haven't you stopped to ask yourself why Thrall chose me instead of you? There be no question why, Garrosh. He gave you the title because you be Grom's son. And because the people be wanting a war hero. I think you be more like your father than you thought. Even without the demon blood. You are lucky that I don't got you right here, Welp. You are foolish to think you can speak to your war chief in such ways. You'll be no war chief of mine. You're not a knight. And what exactly do you think you're going to do about it? Your threats are hollow. Go slink away with the rest of your kind to the slums. I will endure your filth in my throne room no longer! I know exactly what I'll be doing about it, son, a hell scream. I'll watch and wait as your people slowly become aware of your ineptitude. I'll laugh as they grow to despise you, as I do. And when that time comes, that your failure is complete and your power is meaningless. He's got a war life. I just noticed that. Need there to end your rule swiftly and silently. You will spend your reign glancing over your shoulder and fearing the shadows. For when the time comes and your blood be slowly draining out, you will know exactly who fired the arrow. War Chief. Yep, so the War Chief's just the uh, head of the Horde. Are here because I led them here. Ogrima be no home as long as it be under Hell Scream's hand. Still, I fear I was letting my temper drive me to being rash. Thrall devoted himself to making the Horde what it is, so I've no eagerness to be leaving it. More thought. But these be worries for older minds. You still have much to learn. Go help the people of the Dark Spear. I'm sure we'll be speaking again real soon. Alright, so I'm gonna go talk to this other person now. I wonder if I had to sit through all that to do this. Oh, there's a quest over there. So, another quest we can pick up here. So watch out for these. You'll see a bunch of them. I just saw it on the map there. Five fresh crawler meat. And... Oh, he's right here. She, excuse me. Uh, that is a she. Alright, do that thing. Right there. Alright. I think it's adorable. I think it's hungry. You hungry, little guy? All right. So, moving on. 
I'm gonna go grab me some crab meat real quick. Yeah. Or this guy, since it's like right over here. Check our map. So, who wants to go over here when I can just do this quest real quick right here? Boom. Oh, charge takes so long to come back. Alright, look at that. Look at that there guy. You know, crab meat, son. There's one. You and your bubbles. They don't always, like, like quest items like this don't always drop things. So then I'm strafing around my target. I do a lot of movement when I do this, so. He's coming right to me, what a nice guy. Alright, I'm gonna turn that out. Water looks so good, look at that. I've had this new computer for like a week. It's amazing. Seeing all the world from a a new perspective here. It's fresh eyes. Oh, he had a debuff over him. Let's do that again. I guess it came from the charge. Because charge. There's a little bit of damage. Roots him for one second. Reduce, reduces movement speed by 50% for six seconds. So, I mean, all you need to know is that, really, for now, charge is just, it gets you there. You, you bore your charge the way in, and then uh, it gives you a little bit of, a little bit of resource. So it's good to charge in when you charge into things. It's part of your opener. What you want. Okay, so that's all he wanted, I guess. Got me. So that's a simple little side quest, is what you would consider that. Who's this guy? He's kind of cool looking, too. There's some nice troll armors here. You see, movement speed reduced. That's what that is. Slowed by 50%. Exactly what that was. I'm just gonna go over here now. Crikey! That kitty just killed the boar. I have a lot of issues with their cats. Yeah, so they don't, it does not say player, therefore that is an NPC technically. I'm going to learn my next ability. At level 5, Victory Rush. Alright. Alright, let's see here. Probably like nice things for them. Blood Talon Hatchlings rescued. So I have an extra action button here. See this little thing? You click it. So do I have to? So okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Blood Talon whistle to rescue twelve lost Blood Talon Hatchlings. So there you go. Lost about a quest. Just try to read it. There's another guy right here, so we're going to have a second thing to do while we're out. Two more things to do while we're out. So that way, um, so I'm going to end up having to kill some of these things anyways. And then I have a big guy I've got to kill somewhere around here. And... 
I've got to go over there for everything. Everything. Was it like right there? Yeah, the yeah, island. So I have to swim. Hey, I can't run very fast, so you know. Different kind of rapper. Raptor, rapper, raptor, raptor, rapper. So all stats reduced by two. That's that's considered a debuff. Corrupted disease. Fourteen seconds remaining. Not really too big of a deal. Yeah, we just did all of those at the same time. Wow, we just crit him so hard. <laughs> Alright, so you can see this little dot here. That big guy. He's right there. Go up there. We're gonna use our racial here. We can attack faster now. Alright. So we've completed two. We need to kill one more of these guys for our quest here. Look how tiny I am now. I don't like the size of them. And I ran like I'm funny. And then that was interesting. <laughs> I don't have a target. I need to target. Oh. Sit auto attacked. Let's go that way. That is the way we need to go. Alrighty. So some, uh, some some simple gameplay here. You know, it's not too bad. If you guys want to see any other classes done or any other races, I can um, certainly do about that. I can I can help with that. Um, if you'd like to see any other, I guess starter zones or have any questions, like just feel free to ask. Um, other things you'd like me to cover, I'm going to kind of keep going through the series of things that we'll cover. Um, I've got some plans for some future videos coming up, um, so be sure you um, subscribe to my channel and you can hit that bell so you can go ahead and get the, the new videos and we'll keep up with the series that we've got here. And how you doing, man? That's all I guess I will do for today. Uh, sorry the video was so long. Um, so, just trying to cover some of the basic stuff and kind of show it kind of being done, I guess, from a, a basic standpoint. So, y'all have yourselves a nice day now. Peace out.